This is the new hover quad recently added into Star Citizen. Today we're gonna to take a look at it and we're gonna compare it to the Drake Dragonfly. Today's video is brought to you by Rich Wallet. Rich create modern compact wallets made from premium materials like titanium, carbon fiber, or aluminum. In fact, Rich is so confident in the product that they offer you a 45 day test drive with a full refund if you don't like it. But why wouldn't you like them? The wallets are easily half the size of a traditional wallet, but despite that, they can still hold up to 12 cards and has a money clip on the side. All the wallets also come with RFID blocking to prevent digital theft. So check out Rich Wallet on rich.com forward slash D2EA and use offer code D2EA to get 10% off. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Star Citizen. So we're gonna be looking at the new hover quad that you can see here, and we're gonna compare it to the Drake Dragonfly. We're gonna talk about the pros, the cons, and what do we get? First of all, if you take a look at it, even though it has way more of these hover pads, you can see those down there underneath, it is actually quite a bit smaller. I uh, originally thought it would be bigger than the, uh, than the Dragonfly, but both lengthwise, and if we take a look at it from the back, it's not that much wider either. So it is quite a bit smaller than the Dragonfly. It's a single seater, as you can see. We have a single pilot seat here. Now, here in the back, we have access to uh, the power plant. We can open that up, and uh, we need to replace it. Easy access here on the back. From the side of it here, we can access the internal storage, which is one of the big selling points, I think, for, for the hover quad, is that, uh, is that internal storage. The storage can be accessed here from, uh, from either side, and I don't believe I have access to open anything up here towards the front. Of course, we do not get any kind of storage on the Dragonfly as it is right now. There has been some talk whether it should get some at some point, um, but in the current state, it does not have any kind of internal storage. But what you do get on the Dragonfly, of course, is you have that pilot seat and you have this rear-facing uh, passenger seat. So if you go and if we jump into the passenger seat, you will see on the Dragonfly you have a rear-facing. So if people are chasing you or something like that, then you can have a passenger back there or you could just have a friend sitting back there. So let's take it out for a spin and, uh, and let's see what this thing can do. So we're gonna jump on board. Power it up. Oh, listen to that. <laughs> okay. I'm going to remove the throttle limiter and we're just going to see what this thing can do. This is not slow at all. <laughs> this thing will move. We're running... Uh... We can get some decent altitude out of this one as well. Gravity here on Daymar is pretty low, and uh, this is really just showing the new GrabLev technology that CRG has implemented in uh, in action. We would not have been able to do this with the old technology, that's for sure. But as you can see, on a surface, you're gonna get this up. Whoa, there we go. You're gonna get this up to around 130, something like that. Um, so it's definitely not slow, but it is very noisy. Now let's try and compare that to the Dragonfly in terms of speed and maneuverability. Power this thing on. Get a little bit of altitude out of it. And remove the throttle limiter. And let's see what this thing can do. You can already see now that the Dragonfly, it can still get some air, but it is also significantly faster than um, than what we get on uh, on the Hover Quad. But there's of course another thing you get on the uh, um, on the Dragonfly here that you do not get on uh, the Hover Quad. And that is of course your weapons. As you can see here, we have two forward mounted uh, weapons on the Dragonfly, and we do not have any kind of weaponry on the hover quad. It is much more of a um, get around transport type uh, type of deal. Now I have conveniently parked my uh, Cutlass Black here because I want to do a little test fit and see how well these fit inside uh, a Cutlass. Now, first of all, I'm just gonna lower the hover height here a little bit so that we are not hovering too high off the ground. 
and then we can slowly just hover this inside and it should be a nice fit this has of course been done a million times we're gonna go up all the way towards that and if we park that there you will see that the dragonfly is a very nice fit inside the uh, inside the cutlass black and there we go landing itself there but um with the hover quad being slightly smaller it should be no problem at all getting this thing in here so uh, let's just test it for good measures once again lower our hover height all the way down to the lowest possible setting and then just slowly drive this inside see no problem at all and i think with the shorter range we might even be able to actually translate this to the side so i think we get off this now and there you go oh a little twitchy there there we go it settled in nicely i actually think you would be able to easily fit three of these in here i can see how much room there is i would easily be able to park another one over here and i could probably also have one parked here at the entrance so i think that i could no problems at all fit three of these hover quads inside a cutlass black it's a very compact and even though you don't get the same speed, I'm actually really liking this. The cargo on it is uh, is a nice addition. Um, so I could definitely see these being... If you're doing base raids, often getting in with your ship can be difficult if they have a lot of... Um, if they have a lot of, uh, of, of defenses. So having one of these to uh, to go in under the, uh, under the radar, basically, park it in there, would be really, really nice. I mean, sure, you don't have any weapons on it or anything like that. But you have that cargo, so if you're going to loot anything, you can go and uh, and store that in uh, in the hover quad and bring it back with you like that, which I think is a is a really really nice uh, nice addition to uh, to something like the dragonfly. Now, in terms of price and availability, at the time of this recording, it has not yet been made available on the store. It is not yet available to purchase in game. I'm not expecting it to be available in game before the next patch, um, but it should be coming up on the store pretty soon. Now. What it's going to cost, I, I don't know, but I can't imagine it's going to be much more expensive than the Drake Dragonfly here. Simply because they kind of serve this, I mean, they're both like small hovercraft. This is slightly smaller uh, than the uh, than the Dragonfly, but again, it has the cargo, which you don't have on, on the Dragonfly, but the Dragonfly has the weapon. So they just serve different roles, but are very, very similar. So I can't imagine this being much more expensive than uh, than the Dragonfly. And I, would, I could see this being... Um, being a favorite, I don't know how how much value people are gonna put at the at those weapons there on uh, uh, on the dragonfly. I could actually see myself picking this up when it becomes available in game in the next patch. Uh, it should be a relatively cheap thing. It would be fun to uh, to have around, and it's, it's it's super fun to fly. These hovercrafts are super fun to fly after the update to the gravel lab. You can see you can really get some air, and they are super quick. Feel super quick to move around with. So. I don't know. What do you guys think? Which one do you prefer? Do you prefer the Dragonfly? Do you prefer the new Hover Quad? And are you gonna get one? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks a lot for watching, and until next time, I will see you guys in space.